coaches I looked up to were some of the best coaches that I've ever coached in the game. So Ian McGeekin and Jim Telfer, um, I'd been coached by them at club level and an international level and those were the first people that I looked for advice. I was also a, a coach that um, meant a lot to me in my career, both at school and, and club later on, uh, Rob Moffat, um, who was very helpful. Um, and he epitomised to me what, what, what coaching is about. So love uh, the fact that you're there to, to bring on other people and get joy from that. But also a love for the sport, a love for our game of rugby. One of the philosophies that I've, well, you know, I was trying to be honest as well, honest with, with your players and um, and earn the respect from from your players as well. Um, you've got to make it fun. You, you, you've got to you've got to have players and you know training sessions tend to be hard, but you know, trying to make them enjoyable and, and you know, to, to have some fun and uh, and to keep to keep developing as a coach, to keep learning and. Uh, you know, I'm learning all the time. You know, there's lots of things about the game that I still don't know. But um, being prepared to be open-minded and, and learn as much as you can, that makes a big difference. Oh, it was very clear for me. Uh, I was lucky enough to be coached by Bob Dwyer, who coached Australia to the '91 World Cup final. Uh, he was our club coach at Randwick, and he was a terrific coach. Passionate, uh, very clear about what he wanted from the team, and what he wanted from the players clear philosophy of, of how he wanted to play, so he was a great role, role model for me. I think you have to be curious, you have to want to always look for something that's better than what you're doing, but also at the same time have some clear principles you operate under, and if you stick to that, you'll have a great coaching career. I, I think as a coach you've got to keep challenging yourself to learn, because I think if you stand still you'll get, you'll get run over. If you can instill ambition in others, then th th that's your best opportunity to be successful as a coach. It's, it's give them the confidence to be ambitious, give them the confidence to, to, to express themselves as players and, and, and to connect up well as a playing group. I think I was very fortunate because I, like I was coached by people like Willie Anderson and Dick Best and um, you know, Brian Ashton, uh, Warren Gatland. So, you know, I had so many, Clive Woodward. I had so many people that, you know, you, you learnt from and you kind of steal a little bit of what they do uh, and then the biggest thing apply it in the way uh, your personality is don't try and be them keep on learning um, the game doesn't stand still uh, you have to keep on you know looking out and meeting people and learning whether it be within the sport or outside of the sport and be yourself uh, and the third bit always remember you are your players uh, you don't deliver for yourself you deliver for your players